Hey guys, in my last video, we looked at uh, how to insert a specific color as your background color in your website, as well as using an image for as a background image in our website. Now, by default, when I add an image which is uh, smaller than the width and the height of your website, it automatically repeats itself until it fills the whole page, just as you see. Now, sometimes you don't want it to do that. What you do is add a property called background repeat and add a value of none. Okay, so let's try that now. Uh, let's add after here, let's add another property called background uh, repeat, repeat, and then if we don't want it to repeat anymore, rewrite the repeat. That's it. Let's save it and check it out. There we go. All the extra or the repeated uh, background images has been gone. And by default, the background image is on the top ref, uh, left of your screen because I put it in the body tag and the first place or the yeah, the first place of the body tag is the top right of the screen. Now, if I wanted to repeat it horizontally, instead of no repeat, I use repeat x, x. If you've done math, and I'm sure you've done math up to, for example, GCSE level, you know that x on the graph is horizontal and y is vertical. So if I refresh that, it's going to repeat itself only on the x-axis, so horizontally. And similarly, if we want it to repeat vertically instead of x, we just write y. And there we go. Now I put this to no repeat for now, so that there's only one background image on my website. Now what if I want to uh, set the position of my uh, background image instead of top left, for example, to top right, we could use a property called background position and say uh, right top. Let's save it and there we go. If I extend the width of my website, so basically if I make it bigger, that uh, image of that sushi will always be at that top right. So say for example if I increase my size this way it's going to stick to the top right. So there we go. That's how you use the background repeat property to either repeat it on the x-axis, the y-axis, or basically horizontally and diagonally, no vertically, or uh, no repeat. And background position, you can use that to change the position of your background image. So that's it about adding backgrounds in <coughs> sorry, CSS. In my next video, I will talk about styling links, so the A tag in CSS.